Hey guys, so recently I made a few videos on my own Minecraft texture hacks that I've made. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download this Ohana 3DS build, which I'll have linked in the video description, so make sure to go check that out and download it. Next, you want to get your game RamaFest somehow. I got this using Decrypt9, but you can probably find it online and just download it like that. But yeah, so this contains all of the game files and stuff. So what we want to edit is a file extension called .3dst. A lot of them are inside the resource packs folder. And as you can see, it has city, plastic, and vanilla. Vanilla is just not nothing. There's no extra content or anything added to it. So this is what I want to edit. So I'm going to go in there, and then we're going to go inside of images. So this is where all of the texture files are stored for that specific pack. So inside a mob, this has a lot of like the objects and stuff like pig and skeletons, slimes, and then Steve, which is the main character that you play as. So I'm going to be making a Steve texture hack. So this is this will change like the actual character that I play as to whatever I make it. So I'm just going to copy this file that I want to edit. You don't have to use Steve, but you can use any of them. But I'll just use Steve to make it simple. So yeah, copy it and then. We're going to make a new folder, any way you want. I'll just call mine Texture Hack. And inside of that, you want to paste the file. So yeah, now you should have the .3dst file. And yeah, just to emphasize, make sure that you have this extension on it, or else you cannot edit the file. Now you want to open up the Ohana 3ds folder that you downloaded before. If you didn't, again, go check that out and download it. So yeah, once you open it, you should see an exe file, and we're going to run this, and this should pop up. So instead of doing file open, we want to go to tools and then bch texture replacement. I'm just going to minimize the background of it to make it easier to just see this. And now I'm going to do file open. And now we're going to open the file that we just copied from the game. So mine again is, is steve.3dst, so I'm going to hit open, and yeah. As you can see, this is the texture, but this file is actually already edited. Um, I did this before I made this video that I'm making right now. This is a Luigi texture pack, so it'll make um, Steve look like Luigi. But yeah, yours would just be the normal texture, there wouldn't be anything added on to it. So once you get this, you're going to do export, and then go to the same folder, just to make it simple. And we'll just call this Steve Original. Without, you know, yours isn't going to be Steve, just whatever the file is. And we're going to save it. So now if we go back into that folder, we should see a .png file of the texture. So this is it, as you can see. So now we're going to make whatever edits we want to do. So yeah, I'll just open mine in an image editor. And yeah, just to keep it simple, I might make this like a Mario texture hack. So, I'll probably fast forward through this part of the video so you don't have to watch it. But yeah, this is where you can do whatever you want to the texture, edit it, do whatever you need to. So yeah, I've got all of the greens selected, so now all I have to do is change the hue slash saturation to change the color of it. So since I already made a Mario texture hack, I might do something else just to make it interesting. Let's do like an ice blue Mario, I guess. Yeah, this looks nice. So yeah, once you've got the texture edited to your liking, you can go to File and then Save As. And save it as Steve New or whatever your file name was, underscore new. And make sure it's a .png file because I'm not sure if Ohana can actually import other extensions. So I know as a fact that PNG works, so we're just going to keep it like that. So I've just saved the file, and as you can see, there's the new one here, and then the original one is next to it. I mean, not the original. This is Luigi, but for you, it would be the original one. So yeah, now how do we actually get this into the game? Well, it's kind of simple. All we got to do now is just go to the Texture Replacing tab again, and click replace and then you're going to select the file that you just saved so mine was steve new i'm going to hit open so as you can see it has added the texture into the game and replaced the original one 
So now all that's left to do is to save it and test it out. So I'm going to do file save and that should save the file in its place. So we can close out of this now because we don't need it. We can also close out of this too because we don't need that either. So as you can see, um, date last modified 3.19 p.m. and it's 3.20 now but that's because I saved it one minute ago. So yeah, all we gotta do now is copy this to our SD card and run it how you normally would have run hacks. So yeah, I use OnionFS because I find that the easiest way to run texture hacks. So I'm just gonna paste it in here. You might use a different method. I heard that um, Luma has a feature that you can actually just replace the files in it. It's like built in OnionFS, but I haven't gotten around to looking at that. So just use whatever method you normally would. I'll have a few links in the video description if you haven't set up a method to launch custom files. Once you've got the file copied, we can eject the SD card and I'll meet you on my 3DS. So as I said before, I'm using OnionFS to load the game texture, so I have to load NTRCFW to enable OnionFS. So when I load the game, a green flash will appear on the top screen for a split second, and that's how you know that OnionFS is active. So it should load the character right now and we can see if it actually activated. And yep, as you can see, it has replaced Steve with an ice blue Mario or Luigi, whatever you want it to be. So yeah, I'm gonna actually go into a game and see how this looks in game. So let's just load up a map and play around with it a little bit. So yeah, it shows up in game and it looks nice. So yeah, that's how you make texture hacks for Minecraft on the Nintendo 3DS. So thank you guys for watching, leave a like if this video helped you, comment if you need help or if you want to help anyone else, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you next time.